So when working out your percentage income, many investors simply divide their return by the cost of the property. For example, if you're making £10,000 income each year after costs and the property costs £200,000, you're making 5%, right? Wrong. You're actually making 20%. So why is this? Now, I'm going to assume that if you purchase a property for £200,000, you're only using £50,000 as a deposit and the rest is mortgaged. So if this is the case and you're making your £10,000 a year, you divide this amount by your invested money, which is £50,000. Now you need to work it out like this because if you're comparing investments, you need to do it like for like. If you put that 50,000 into any other investment, whether it be savings, ISA, the stock market, you would not be able to leverage like you can in the property market. So in order to get the same returns as what you would in the property market, you would simply need to be making 20%. Therefore, to work out your income, you need to work out the net return after all costs, divide that by your invested deposit, and this will give you a true reflection of your percentage yield.